Hello friends and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kimberly and I'm now a second year medical student from the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine under NTU Singapore. So, today's video is a highly requested and highly anticipated video. I see you guys asking about this in the comment section and in my Instagram DMs, so I thought it was finally time to make a video about it. So today's video, I'll be talking about the cost of studying medicine in Singapore. There will also be a part 2 to this video, where I'll be talking about the scholarships and bursaries that you guys can apply to mitigate this cost. So make sure you're subscribed and ring the notification bell to get notified once that video is up. With all that being said, let's get into the video. First and foremost, especially for my international viewers, I would like to do a brief explanation as to how studying medicine works in Singapore. If you didn't know already, Singapore only has two universities that offer undergraduate medicine. These are five-year courses to get a Bachelor of Medicine and Surgery. These two schools include the Yonglulin School of Medicine under the National University of Singapore and my school, the Lee Kong Chien School of Medicine under the Nanyang Technological University of Singapore. With that simple introduction out of the way, let's finally get into the numbers. Starting off with tuition fees, for NUS Medicine, the 2022 to 2023 annual school fees, meaning you matriculate this year or you enter into the university this year, for Singapore citizens, your school fees will be $30,200. For permanent residents, your school fees are 43600 and for international students, it is $66,650. It is important to understand that once you matriculate, you will be paying the same school fees every single year for the entire duration of your study. So for example, if next year the prices increase because naturally inflation, you will still be paying the same school fees as your first year for the entire five years of your study. So if you're studying in NUS medicine and you're entering into the cohort this year, you'll be paying this amount for five years of study. Moving on to NTU Medicine, if you're a Singapore citizen, your school fees will be $35,000. If you're a permanent resident, it is $49,450. And if you're an international student, it is $75,550. Once again, for five years of schooling, the total adds up to this much. But please keep in mind that in this video, I'll be talking about the most recent school fees. If you intend to come into the university much later, it would be good to check the school's websites because they will have the most recent school fees there. I will be linking all the necessary links in the description box below, so go ahead and check those out. Okay. Aside from tuition fees, I do want to mention that there are a lot of other costs that you might want to take into account before coming into university. First of all, do you want to stay in hall? especially for international students who intend to stay here for five years of their study or the entire duration of their study, you guys might be thinking about staying in hall for that entire time. And so hall costs can really, really add up over that period. Depending on your room type and depending on which hall you stay in, your cost can vary very widely. So for instance, I took a double room that is non-aircon and that was $300 a month. That was one of the cheaper rooms that they had in NTU already. Some of the other rooms like the singles uh, with air conditioning as well as some of those that have an attached bathroom to them cost way way more than that. In fact, I think they can go up to $600 a month. So you guys might want to think about whether or not you're willing to spend that amount of money if you think certain amenities or facilities are important to you and take those costs into account as well. Additionally, living expenses should also be considered. So this could include things like food, transportation or entertainment, etc, etc. This can vary widely based on your own personal preference, whether you like to eat out or you like to just buy groceries in bulk and then cook over the week. It's completely up to you. The general consensus is that most people spend about $200 to $500 a month. Also, for medical school specifically, you will need to invest certain amount of money into your tools that you need for your career. So for example, you might want to invest in a good stethoscope right from the start and you don't intend to change it in the future. You might be investing about $300 into that or even more if you want to customize it. You will also spend money to buy important stuff like your white coats, name tags and other medical instruments such as your pen torches, tendon tappers, as well as tuning forks. These are all important to help conduct physical examinations that you will definitely use in medical school. Not to mention the sets of formal wear and formal shoes that you will need to buy in order to look presentable when talking to patients. So if I tally up all the numbers for five years of studying medicine in Singapore, the ballpark figure is... 
Now that's a lot of money. However, luckily, the university as well as the government has given us many, many opportunities to reduce this cost. I will be talking about all the scholarships and bursaries you guys can apply in the next video, so stay tuned for that. With that, that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you guys found this helpful. I hope you found it useful. All the necessary links will be in the description box below. Make sure to leave a like, leave a subscribe. It really helps my channel out and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!